we're learning all about the moon and Mars. The moon is a really cool place. There's a lot less gravity there, and that's going to make things so much easier to do. You think so? You might be surprised how difficult living in an alien environment can be. How is that? There are a lot of things you might not think of. Have you ever gone camping in the mountains? That's an alien environment? Well, not quite the same thing, but you do have to think a little differently. For example, on a 10,000 foot mountain, the air pressure is low and water boils at 90 degrees Celsius instead of 100 degrees. So food doesn't cook as quickly. Oh, I get it. So on the moon where there isn't any atmosphere, the water would boil at an even lower temperature. Wait a minute. If there isn't any atmosphere, then we would have to bring our own oxygen supply. Actually, you couldn't just bring an oxygen mask. You would have to have a spacesuit. I have one in my closet. Wait, why would you need that? A spacesuit protects you from temperature extremes. On the moon, it's about 130 degrees Celsius in the daytime and minus 170 Celsius at night. More importantly, because there's no air on the moon, your blood would boil without a spacesuit. Oh, I see you found it. Okay, you sold me on the spacesuit. Is there anything else? Well, now you will find that tasks are tougher with the spacesuit. I'll give you a few simple things to do. Even easy tasks become difficult. Let's try something else and suppose you're on a planet where the gravitational force is very strong. For example, if you could stand on Jupiter, you'd weigh two and a half times your Earth weight. Now I'll cut you some slack and just make you weigh one and a half times your normal weight. 30 pounds. And four more here. And here. Thanks a lot. Now it's really hard to move. Imagine living on a world like the moon where it is dark for two weeks at a time and then light for two weeks. It'll be pretty hard getting used to going to sleep when it's light for that long of a time. That'd be a lot easier to live with than wearing these weights. So what have you learned about Mars? Well, I haven't done a lot of research on Mars yet. Why don't you go see Dr. Bobby Braun with NASA Langley Research Center? He's done a lot of research on Mars. Thanks, Dr. D. That's where I'm headed next. See you later, guys.